In the AI space, we have seen multiple ranges of app creation tools like ChatDev, DevOps GPT, and so many others. Now you may notice one thing, and that is that all of these models and frameworks lack the ability to practically use and build the applications that are generated from them. Now I'm not saying that they don't like fully functionally develop these applications, it's just that they develop prototypes, and these prototypes don't have the flexibility that you would want it to actually have. This is where I would like to introduce a new small project called GPT Engineer Application. It's a new project with the goal to create the best experience for rapid prototyping. On this channel, we have covered GPT Engineer and we know that it's the world leading code generation project and it had actually inspired the creator of this application, which we'll be covering today to focus on the next frontier, which is enabling practicality. This mission of GPT Engineer is to basically empower everyone to effortlessly construct and launch web applications using a single prompt in English. It's something that will dismantle the barriers to enter in the coding world, which is something that will be very like revolutionary for anyone to use as well as develop code. Now, throughout today's video, we're going to be exploring the application further, showcasing the usability of it, and just basically going a little bit more in depth. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Now before we actually get into the video, I have a really big announcement and that is the creation of my second channel. And this is a channel where I'm going to be exploring the blockchain as well as various different types of cryptocurrencies for everyday use cases. I'm going to be showcasing the best of the best investment opportunities on a day-to-day -day basis on this channel. I highly recommend that you stay tuned on this because I have a really good track record in the cryptocurrency world. I have been able to do really well and I thought it would be amazing for me to preach the value that I have as well as the knowledge that I have to you guys. So I highly recommend that you check this out as you'll be able to stay up to date with whatever is happening in the blockchain and you'll be able to make a really good return out of this. So stay tuned, subscribe and check this link out in the description below. If you would like to access our private Discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, you have consulting, you have investment opportunities, collaboration and so much more, Definitely take a look at this link in the description below. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing GPT Engineer application. This is an application that was actually just recently developed and released by a single developer and this is something that is following the success of GPT Engineer as it's built on top of it. Now the focus on this is that it is basically trying to make it more practical for everyone to use and have it so that the applications that are generated are not just prototypes but fully functional applications. The mission is obviously clear and this is something to basically reduce the barriers and enable anyone to easily build and deploy web applications from a single prompt. Now, the GPT Engineer application is something that is going to simplify the process of creating and launching any sort of application that you want and it will even provide you the code for it. This is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video as you go a little bit more in depth on GPT Engineer. Just take a look at this example where you can basically put in the input of what you want GPT Engineer to actually create. In this case, the developer basically put this input where it asked it to create a snake game where one player controls the arrows and the other player is able to control it with WASD on the create board. Now, once you have fully inputted the prompt, you simply just click on create and it'll take a couple minutes depending on your upload speed as well as your hardware and you're going to be able to generate it within a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds and we can see that you have a fully functional game right here which is like basically working and you're able to continuously build on this by adding customizations and this is the flexibility of gpt engineer that i really really like as you can see with the ui on the bottom left you're able to chat with gpt engineer it's kind of hard to see right now but 
you're basically able to give it inputs to improve the application on further. We can see that there was an input over here that the developer wrote, uh, I believe right here, like where he stated that both controls control both snakes. They should be separate. So this was the error that he found with the application. He sent the error in to fix and he, you can see that GPT engineer fixes the error. Now, as you go down, we can see that you're able to even customize it even further by adding a Christmas theme in this case. Now, if we go down even more, you're able to change it, configure it and do so much more. And this is the flexibility that I like with GBT engineer. You're able to take the code and basically implement it in any sort of workflow that you wanted to implement it in. You're also able to adjust this further into your own code base or with your own IDE. Now, as I mentioned at the start, GPT engineer application is something that sprung out from the open source code of the original project, which is GPT engineer. We've covered this project and it's basically something that helps you generate various different types of applications, just like how GPT engineer does. But we know that both of them are separate entities, but there is a relationship between the two applications. We see that there's a governance and this is where they both operate independently, but they're overseen by a board, which consists of different types of contributors of the different types of projects. There's a continuous support where a portion of the GPT engineer application revenue will then forward fund a full-time role and an infrastructure for maintaining the app's open source tool, as well as for different types of code generation methods. Now, this is something that they've mentioned in terms of the relationship that this project has with the original GPT engineer app. Now, in terms of the future roadmap, they have a couple of things planned, and this is where they're going to be simplifying things by making it easy to edit the text and upload images in a what you see and what you get type of style. It took me a minute to actually understand what they actually said, but this is something that they're expanding towards by making sure that they can include capabilities to include like something like a full stack feature where they can like have a database read or write the authentication of what needs to be provided and this is where it would require you to use llm apis now this is the prioritization of what they're working towards and this is based off what people want them to actually include with gpt engineer this is something that will be coming soon so definitely keep an eye out for this this is a really 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 new project so just keep that in mind as this will be further developed and improved upon now guys, you know on this channel that we cover things fairly fast and the thing with this is that this was something that was released less than a day ago and there's actually a waitlist to actually access this so I just want to mention that before you guys go onto the websites to like try to see if you can get the code. It's actually not uploaded onto their website or their GitHub repo at this moment. This is something that you need to apply for and get onto the waitlist to get the code for this application. You just need to fill in your email and just basically input a couple things as to what you're gonna be using this application for. And you'll be able to get the code for this app and start running it. Now I'll update you guys on this further on my Twitter. So if you wanna stay up to date on that, I can basically post when they do release the code and I can have it so that you guys can be informed when they fully release it. I wanna briefly just go over some of these demos, which is something that is really, really cool to see. From a single prompt, this was actually created, and this is a world time zone like website, you can say, or an app, and it's basically giving you time zones in different contents. You have uh, Europe over here, you have uh, America, North America, you have Asia, as well as Africa. And we can see that this was all fully generated from a single prompt where they stated that create a world time zone app which gives you the date as well as the exact time. So we can see that it provides the time and it gives you that time for each of the consonants. Another example is where they created a tic-tac-toe game and this is something that you can play and reset alongside with the AI, which is really, really cool. All these things was actually generated through single prompts and that's something that actually amazes me a lot. Another application that was created with GPT Engineer app is a Wikipedia monitor application. This is a tool that helps you track various different types of Wikipedias that are created within their website. And it gives you info on the article, it gives you when it was last changed, and it also showcases what was changed in that last prior like edit. 
and this is something that is really really cool you can see that it processes everything for you gives you the apis that are needed to process it and it gives you a live track record on what is being changed within wikipedia which is really really cool it does this all for you within a couple minutes which is absolutely insane and that's basically it for today's video on gpt engineer application this is something that will be very revolutionary once it is fully released. This is something that is backed by the original GPT engineer team. So this should be really, really promising as they further develop and release their actual code for this application. I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can access it fairly easily. Make sure you check out my new channel, guys. It would mean the whole world to me if you can subscribe and stay tuned for the uploads that will be post it over here as it'll be really really beneficial for you make sure you check out the patreon page if you guys haven't follow us on twitter if you guys haven't already where you can stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas